What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Burgess. We got a boot camp a few weeks ago. Man, it's good right now. And in this video, I'm gonna talk to y'all about what you should and should not bring to boot camp. We get straight into it, man. Don't bring all that extra shit. You don't need all that extra shit, man. Because everything that you bring to boot camp is gonna get tossed in a box. Tossed in a box. And if that shit don't fit, the shit that don't fit, that shit getting tossed off. Straight up, that shit getting tossed. Ain't nowhere else to put it. You're not gonna be using your shit in boot camp. Nothing, like your phone, all that shit, all that shit going in the box. So make sure you're not bringing no extra shit like clothes and shit. A lot, a lot of people in there come in bringing in suitcases and, and suitcases and, and unnecessary shit that take up hella space. And, and, and they don't think that they shit, that shit not getting tossed in a box. So if you only get one box to put your personal belongings in. Uh, if that shit don't fit, that shit gonna toss I hate to break it to y'all like that. So, all you really need to ring the boot camp is toothbrush, you no know, small shit, toothbrush, razor, deodorant, no notebook. That's the most important, that's probably the most important one to me because you get a toothbrush and shit like that, you get that shit in boot camp, but like, you kinda want your, you can, I'd rather bring my own. I should have brought my own because like your own is really way better, you know. But the most important one I say bring is a notebook. And right now, all these videos that y'all watching on YouTube are people posting it, they, you know, their boot camp experience and life in the Navy and shit like that. Take notes on that shit because all the stuff they tell y'all about boot camp, even if it's not a famous YouTuber, most of the time they speaking facts and they telling you shit that you need to know. So listen up, take notes, like the shit that you need to remember. Like for example, I'll see in it, um, Seeing those top six or your RTC maximum, you're gonna need to know, you're gonna need to memorize shit like that. And there's people on there posting videos about that and, and shit that you need to remember. So you already know the shit coming in. And then your um your RTC, which is your instructor, when they ask you a question about um, they, they come up to you, you know, what's your what's your RTC maximum? And, and you already know that shit, they're gonna be surprised, they go like, okay, okay, that's a good first impression. And they ain't gonna be on your ass like that. But they're gonna get in your ass eventually at some point about some shit, but it's they go like, okay, he ain't, he ain't a bad recruit, he ain't a shitty recruit. So, bring your notebook, and right now, while you got it now, start looking up, because they're not gonna, you can, you can, you can bring your notebook, and you can bring small shit, because you get an AB, AB drawer, and it's small as fuck. You don't get a nice AB drawer until you get to A school. And it's, and it's good, it, it ain't great, but it's good. It's, it's, it's like a regular drawer. But at boot camp, you get a little ass drawer, man. So don't, not bringing no, 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 that big ass personal shit that you bring from home. All that shit is going in the box. But you can bring small shit like your toothbrush, your razor, deodorant. Oh, you can bring a Bible too. You can bring a Bible too. You can even bring a brush. That's my biggest mistake. Not bringing a brush because my shit was fucked up. For real. Because you know the barbers, they do dirt. So you can bring a brush. You know, small shit like uh, you could bring the um, the kind swabs. You can uh, what else? You know, small shit. No, no, you don't need to bring all that extra shit. Like my biggest mistake was bringing like I I I got to fit that. I could fit that bitch in a box, but barely. My biggest mistake was bringing extra clothes and shit. Don't bring up all that. All you need is the clothes. All you need to bring is the clothes you're already wearing. Cause you know that shit getting put in a box anyway. Go make your dress and put that shit in a box. Because you're gonna get your navy issue things right after all your your PT gear your the shit that you're gonna be wearing socks your PT shoes all that shit your personal belongings like that like your clothes and shit as far as shit like that laptop computer phone whatever all that shit getting put in a box and you're not gonna get that shit back until you graduate so there's no point of bringing extra clothes and shit you ain't wearing them so all you need is the clothes you got on and you can you could probably get you could probably bring an extra shirt or some shit just for you know you get the A school they let you you can order stuff you know online you know with your phone you at A school and then get it gets shipped to your base and you can you can wear it when you get Liberty on base but you don't you don't need no more than like one extra shirt one pants or one pair of pants or shorts you can I mean that should have fit but like don't bring no extra shit don't bring your fucking wardrobe that shit is not gonna fit in a box and they gonna make you throw that shit away if it don't fit so. Like I said, all you need is a brush. You can bring, you know, you can bring a Bible or, re or a religious item, like a re religious chain or necklace, anything. You can bring that. You can bring, a, like I said, bring that notebook. If I was you, I I start taking notes now, and, and on, you know, on what you need to know and what you need to memorize for boot camp. 
and I, I'll bring that. So that's the, for me, that's like that's the most important one. Bring, you know, you can bring deodorant. I mean, they give you deodorant, but like it ain't nothing like your own deodorant. You feel me? You can bring a, you can bring a razor, cause the razors, razors you get boot camp. Them, them shits is weak. You want to bring your own one. Bring a, uh, and like I said, I'll bring my own toothbrush too. You know, you don't need no shit, cause I'm telling you that AB joint small as fuck. You don't want to have to, you know, be actually putting that effort into pulling your shit back every time you gotta um, get something out of there. You know, you don't want that much shit in there. So keep it simple, keep it basic, bring simple shit. You know, like I said, you can bring those stuff like cotton swabs and you know the little the little mouth, uh, mouthwash. You know, shit like that. You can bring, you can bring that shit. You know, like I said, don't pack no extra shit. Like no no big ass item and expect to just have that bitch around you and shit. Cause like I said, all your shit getting tossed in a box except for the small shit. Like you can you can put that shit in. A, you know what they gonna give you. And don't don't try to sneak your phone. Cause if you get caught with that bitch. You going to cap this mask? You gonna learn? You gonna learn? You gonna know what that means? You gonna know what that means as soon as you get there. You gonna go to cap this mask? They gonna take away? They gonna take away half of your pay for two months? And if you were, if you came in as an E two, and by the way, don't matter what rank you come, you come in as an E one, E two, you know, pass the death test, all the other shit, that will automatically be ranked up. But in boot camp, you a fucking recruit. You ain't above nobody in that bitch. No other recruit in that bitch. Y'all on the same level. So. They gonna t if you were, if you come as an E2, you know, or E3, they gonna bust your rank down to back down down one. And if you're an E1, you just gonna stay at E1. They gonna take away half your pay. So say you're an E1, you getting with like 700 every every other week. That shit gonna be 350 every other week for like two months. That shit ass. Don't want that shit. So don't be stupid. Don't try to bring your phone, and, and, and don't don't try to sneak your phone. It's not it's not worth it if you if you especially you get caught. And even if you don't get, if you don't get called by authorities and shit, it's gonna be that one person in your division that will snitch on you. It's always one in every division. It's always that one snitch. Trust me, it's a snitch in every division. So, and you will get caught eventually, and it's not worth it. You, do you really, you really want that two hundred fifty, three hundred, three hundred dollar check every other week for two months? That shit ain't worth it, dog. Don't, don't bring your phone. It's not worth it. Don't try to sneak your phone. And they have, or they will embarrass you too. You gonna have to go to cat and nine, stand in attention and shit. They gonna take away your pay, or you could get kicked out depending on how you act. So don't, it's not, it's not worth it, no. And you will get embarrassed. Um, or, and in this class in boot camp, they was, um, they just teaching us about what we're not to do, like the UCMJ, learning about the articles and shit. And this girl. I try to sneak her phone in the booth. They blurred out her face, like they blurred out her face, and she lucky that her face got blurred out, cause this shit got showed to all of us, us and Bro Div. Bro Div is a division, like it'll be a division across the hall from me, and, they, and everybody, they all call it Bro Div or Sister Div, whoever in the division next to. So we was all in that class, so almost like like at least 300 of us, all in that room, watching this 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 girl that tried to sneak her phone in boot camp, <laughs> and that bitch run in boot camp, and she got caught. They called her, they it because who else would have a phone? So they knew it was her. She gave up her phone. She would have caught this mask, had a standard attention, and they got in her ass. The, the, the captain was, they was yelling at her and shit. I think that shit on YouTube too. And, and got her pay, got her pay divided, got her, got her pay down, her rank, rank bust down, everything. And it's on YouTube for everybody to see that bitch. Do you want to be on YouTube looking stupid? No. So don't do that dumb shit, man. Bring the shit I tell you. Make sure you bring that. Make sure you start putting their notes in that notebook now. So, so when you get to boot camp, you be prepared, man. All you need to know in boot camp, all you need to do to be a successful, to be to to make it through boot camp is to be in shape. Be in shape. Be smart. Follow simple simple instructions. That's really it. Just do it and do what you told them, man. Respect your RDCs. Respect the respect your authority. Respect the people. Around you, you know, you know that fight. Don't be trying to fight people. Around, a lot of people come in trying to be gangsters and shit. And then, and then uh, fight and then fighting one of the uh, the recruit, people in your division and getting kicked out, getting separated, man. And you can't ever get a, a real good job ever again. You have to be hustling because that shit going on record when you get a, a dishonorable discharge from the military, and that's gonna be real hard for you to find a good job. You go go from being in the military. To fucking being a fucking cook at a fast food place. I ain't, I ain't no disrespect to anybody that's a cook right now. 
no disrespect at all, but I'm just saying that you can go from being there to that being your only option when you get out. So be smart, make smart decisions, y'all. I'm out, and if y'all got any questions, feel free to drop down below. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I wanna tell y'all nothing that I don't know or nothing I'm not sure about. So just feel free to drop any questions, and I got y'all. Burn yourself.